This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do a sneak peek unboxing for Diamond Art Club. So massive, massive thank you as ever to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to show you today. I have got here Spring Bird House by Greg Giordano. And this is releasing tomorrow, Saturday, August the 26th. So I'm just gonna get this cellophane off. And as I do, I will explain to you when you can get hold of this painting, if that is what you wish to do. So it's coming out tomorrow, as I said. The release times are obviously gonna vary depending on what time zone you're in. So it will be, if you have early access, which is if you are a Diamond or Ruby tier member in Diamond Art Club's reward, tier, reward structure, you get early access, which starts half an hour before. So you will be able to buy this painting from 9 a.m. Pacific time. 12 p.m. Eastern time or 5 p.m. UK time. If you do not qualify for early access, it's half an hour later, so you've got to wait till 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time or 5.30 p.m. UK time. And if you're in another time zone, just Google that and you should find out when it's coming out for you. Okay, so this is a square painting, which you can tell from the blue color and the square here. And it is 60 by 85 centimeters. So a pretty hefty size painting. And it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's so lovely. I can't wait to get into this and have a closer look. So Greg Giordano has a few other paintings with Diamond Art Club. I was looking on the website and they're very naturey in theme. So there's one with um, hot air balloons against a nice sky. There's several with like butterflies, um, cabin porch view one that I've admired lots of times. Those are all his. So this is his, his kind of style is naturey, outdoorsy kinds of things. I think it would be fair to say. So, Oh, I didn't show you by the way. On the box, uh, you get a bit of information on the back here. So you've got a how it works section and you've got kit contents and you also have down here a 10% discount code off your next purchase. There are lots and lots of discount codes available for Diamond Art Club. So do not pay full price. You can always get at least that 10% off. This box, by the way, has got a little bit of a hole in it where it's got battered in, um, in transit but everything inside looks absolutely fine because it is well protected. Inside the box, first of all, you will get this sticker, um, nice small sticker, which I like to put on the side of my box like so, because that helps me with the way I store them in my cupboard to see what's what. Next up, you will get a toolkit, so let's take a sneaky peek at that. I do love toolkits. All the little goodies. So a Di Diamond Art Club toolkit will contain all the bits and bobs that you need to do your painting and a few added extras that are nice to have. So first of all, a tray and stopper. If you find this little random bit of plastic in your toolkit, it's a stopper. It goes in the tray end like that. Um, I'm not sure I put that the right way around even, <laughs> but it, it stops your drills falling out when you're shaking it around. Because this is a square painting, I've got some tweezers which are branded with Diamond Art Club. They come with a guard because they are super sharp and they are very helpful too. You will get a pen and matching comfort grip. The colours will vary depending on, um, well, even from one kit to another of the same design, but you will get them and they will coordinate with each other. You get a four and seven placer. These are the thin plastic multi-placers, which I personally find very helpful and use a lot. You get a caddy with ooh, a little bit of excess packaging in there. Uh, two plates of heart-shaped pink wax. It comes with a little cover on it. So make sure you do peel that back before trying to use it for the first time. Um, and they will keep nice and fresh in the little caddy. You get 
some little bags. Um, I use this one kitting down, some people kit up into them. Whatever you want to use them for, you have those. Washi tape. Let's have a closer look at that one. Lovely. Uh, lots of people like to collect washi tape. One, just because it's so pretty, but two, it's very useful for various things. People use it to either stick around the edge of their painting um, to stop it from gathering dust and things, where the glue extends beyond the painting area a little bit. Or they use it to go over the top of the plastic cover on their painting to section it off for working on. Oh. And then I have a cover minder, another little rose. I've had a few of these recently, but not this colour before. Very pretty. So cover minders, as you'll have seen there, it's got two magnets on the back. So you use this to hold the plastic cover out of your way when you're diamond painting. You put one magnet on the back of your canvas, you put the other one on top of the plastic cover where you want it to be held out of your way. They connect through the canvas and you're sorted. Okay, let me put those away. Right, on to the exciting bit, the painting. So it will come in this branded dust cover bag which says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. So it's nice for storing it neatly and keeping it clean. Because some people don't even store them in the boxes, they store them just in this, maybe with that small sticker I showed you on it so you can tell them apart. So you get lots of flexibility with the way this has been packaged. Okay, so obligatory stroke of the canvas because Diamond Art Club canvases are just so soft and lovely. I'm going to get these bits out to take a look at. So first of all you get a thank you for your purchase leaflet. Very useful information in here particularly if this is your first time purchasing. Um, you get what's included, tips and tricks, you get step-by-step uh, -step video instructions, you get an invitation to the VIP Facebook group, and you get some discount codes. So for, you've got a 10% one off here. And this one is if you download Diamond Art Club's app, you can get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So that's really useful. And then, oh, it looks like I've got a lot of colors because I've got two sticker sheets. <laughs> only just. <laughs> so 68 colors. They can only fit 67 on a page. So <laughs> if you get any over that, you get a whole nother sticker sheet. But let me show you a closer up image of the diamond painting. Isn't it lovely? Oh, it makes me think of the butterflies in a garden painting that I did, um, the Joelle McIntyre one which I showed on the channel a few months ago now. And it was a lovely, beautiful, outdoorsy, naturey scene and it had butterflies all over the place. And I really loved how it basically had lots of pictures within a picture as a result, because you could work on one butterfly and feel a sense of completion. And this is like that, but with birds. <laughs> it's gonna be just like that again. I love it. Gorgeous. So. What are the colours I'm dealing with? You can see there's a lovely rainbow effect of colours here, which means it's going to be all bright and cheerful. I have got four AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that's drills with a special coating on that glint and glitter and just catch the light and bring accents to a painting. So I will show you those in a bit. And then at the bottom, I have got two codes that start with a Z. That means those are going to be fairy dust drills. Fairy dust drills, very, very popular. They're coming out in lots of Diamond Art Club paintings at the moment, and they have a very subtle glittery effect. So I will show you those as well. Right, what to do next, what to do next? I think I'm gonna save looking at the canvas and I'm gonna look at the drills next. So bear with me while I open it up. So beautiful, I love it. Diamond Art Club has started printing a line under the number on the drill bags. Really helpful when you've got colours like uh, numbers that have sixes and nines and eights and that kind of thing, and it might be hard to tell which way up it is. So just one little thing to mention there. Okay. Right, going in with my drills. So to start off with, I have got three bags of this very dark brown colour. 
And then moving on to some cream. And here is my first AB. So if you weren't sure what I meant when I talked about an AB drill, this is what it looks like. You can see you have the base matte drill and then it's got this coating on the top. And those bring gorgeous, gorgeous accents and highlights to a painting. So moving on, there's gonna be lots of shades of pink, just all bright colors in here, but a lot of neutral tones as well, which will be for the sort of the background bits and the shadow generally. Quite a lot of that dark brown there. Moving on to some lovely pinks and peaches. Definitely one for the pink lovers, this. Here's another AB. It's like a very pale, yellowy beige. Not sure what to call that, really. <laughs> and some greens and beige and more pink. Looks like a little bit of static in these bags, but that's okay. We can deal with static. It's something that happens particularly with higher quality drills, so there's not really any way to avoid it. But if it causes you any hassles when you're kitting up, there are various tips around, so don't worry too much. Okay, next strip of drills. If you've noticed they're coming in random orders, by the way, it's because Diamond Art Club arranges their drills by the size of the bag of drills rather than the DMC order. So here is that first fairy dust drill. Can you see it? It's always very hard to picture um, to pick up in the camera, but can you see just that faint glitzy effect on top of the drills? So they're like a cross between an AB and a normal drill. They give you accents, but they're much more subtle. I love 718, this plum color. Lovely. Nice bright green there. More browns. I thought we'd had this color already. <laughs> Nice bright green and purples and oh, how much black? Only two sort of medium sized bags of black. So not too much of that. Moving on to some darker blues and more lovely greens. And here is that last fairy dust drill. So show you this one as well. You can, you can catch the glitter just about. And then moving on to smaller bags of drills. So 327 is a lovely shade of purple. Ooh, I love these bright oranges. I, I very much enjoy working with bright colors. So I love to see these ones. And just, just there's all the colors of the rainbow in here, I think. Very bright and colorful painting. This one's fun, 606. It's, it's almost neon, isn't it? And here's another AB. Nice red one, very pretty. And, ooh, lovely blue there. And then, is this the last strip of drills? Yeah. So these are the ones that there aren't too many of, but with a company like Diamond Art Club, you can guarantee they are going to be paying their attention to the rendering and getting the shading spot on. They hand render all their paintings. So you'll quite often have colors that just have a few drills because they're just gonna be shading in an area. So yeah, love that turquoise blue. And what else is left here? Some red, some more neutrally tones. Yellows, oh, lovely bright yellows there. Another orange, oh, more orange. And there's the last AB, one that's used very often and I really enjoy this color. It's like a light buttery yellow, so pretty. So those are the colors you're gonna be working with and now I'm gonna take a look at the canvas. So Diamond Art Club uses poured glue um, and what that means is that uh, the type of glue that they use is very nice and easy to work with and it's also not something you have to be too precious with. So I'm going to roll this canvas back on itself to flatten it quickly so I can show you. You can do that with poured glue paintings and it's very nice and convenient. The canvas is this trademarked substance called tarpaulin which will in fact flatten by itself but this is just a slightly quicker way. Okay. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Okay. 
So here is the bottom section. I will pan over the whole thing so that you get to see it all in a bit more detail because I can't show it all on frame currently. Um, but here's the bottom and now I'm just going to move up and show you the top section. There we are. And that's where a lot of those darker colours are coming in, isn't it? It's this background shadow up here. Super pretty. Oh, I love it. I love all these individual birds. They're going to be so nice to work on and just feel like you finished a picture each time and then they add to, to the bigger picture that's growing. So I'm seeing a fair amount of colour changing. Colour changing in diamond painting we tend to call confetti and it refers to when you are working with one colour and you just do a few drills of that and then you need to switch to another colour and another colour and so on. Whereas colour blocking, the opposite of that, is these sections where you've got just one colour and you can just load up your multi-placer if, if that's the way you work, load up your tray and just knock through them and they tend to go a bit quicker. And different people have different preferences. I like a good mixture of the two. I would say this is a decent mixture actually because for all that there are some sections like this bird that are going to be chopping and changing colours a lot, there are others which are much more blocky. So yeah, no concerns there. I love this bright red bird and I can see straight away that he is chock full of ABs because this too, this symbol too, is the red AB. So he is going to glow. I wonder if lots of the birds are going to do that. I will check back for ABs and fairy dust rolls and where they go at the end. But I think what I'm going to do now is pan over it so that you can see it in a bit more detail. Really zoom into each of those birds so you can see them because they all look to be rendered beautifully. And then I'll come back and look for those drills. Okay, so that gives you a closer look at the canvas. Isn't it stunning? I love this butterfly down here as well. I've been so focused on watching for all the birds, I hadn't spotted that there was a butterfly as well. Okay, so I am going to look for those special drills as promised. So I've got codes one, two, three, four, first of all, and let me see where I can spot them. So one is that one that was sort of like a pale beige almost. And a lot of that is jumping up, jumping out in this section to me. And then a bit up here in the roof of the bird box as well. And the writing. So the writing is actually going to glow and stand out a bit. And then little bits like in this bird. So some of it's going to be scattered around. So that's really cool. The red, as I've already said, this bird here is chock-a-block full of red drills. And I see a little bit down here in this one. Not so much of that one. The pink AB, which I think there was quite a lot of. Oops, sorry, had to stop there. My son and his cousin came back from the park. Um, so where was I? I think I was looking at the pink drills, the pink ABs. And I see those very liberally through these pink blossomy trees, which is going to be really pretty, I think. A little bit down here, yeah. So all those pink areas that you can see up there. And... Is there any more down here? No, I don't think so. So they're just for the blossom. And then last of the ABs is the four, which is the pale buttery yellow one. And I see a little bit in this bird here, 
It's not going to be a huge amount of this one because it was quite a small bag. So I think the rest of it is in these two yellow birds up here. Oh, and a little tiny bit up there. Okay, so that's your ABs. And then I have got a green Y and a purple upwards arrow for the um, fairy dust drills. So let me look. Those are a little harder to spot. I find the numbers jump out at me and other symbols don't so much. But I see some Ys up here. And then more over here in the leaves. So that's, I think that's really nice on leaves. It's almost like a bit of um, moisture or dew or something glistening on them. Because as I said, they're a lot more subtle than ABs. Um, they're going to look really pretty. And a little bit more of that down here. So all through this bird's wings. And is that it? That's maybe it. And then the upwards purple arrow. So obviously I'm checking the purpley areas. I don't see any down here. So where is it hiding? Is it more that I can't see it for looking? <laughs> I cannot see where that one is. strange. Right, let me turn the camera off for a moment and try and find it because I'm a little confused here. Okay, I've been poring over this camera looking for it and I thought from the colour on the um, stickers that I was looking for a purple so my eyes were just trained for the purples and actually it's it's a sort of purpley blue. <laughs> so there is plenty of it and it's all in here. So it's the bird box that is going to have that slight glittery effect from those other fairy dust drills. Beautiful. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at this with me. As I say, it's going to be released tomorrow, so check out Diamond Art Club's website tomorrow if you are interested in buying it. Um, I'll just say the times again, so if you have early access, it's going to be 9am Pacific time, 12pm Eastern time or 5pm UK time. And it's half an hour later if you do not have early access. So that's when it's going to be available. So check this out then if you would like to have this painting, join your diamond painting collection. It is really beautiful and spring-like. I mean, it's, it's called Spring Bird House. So <laughs> yeah, gorgeous for that time of year in particular. I think it's going to be stunning when it's done. Diamond Art Club always does such a good job of rendering things like plants, which are tricky. And yes, they're often full of confetti, but it's usually not overwhelming. And then do it, they do such a good job of these little birds and picking out all these little details and using special drills to make them come to the fore. I just think it's going to be spectacular. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.